Hello, you are welcome. How to simplify this nice algebra problem? We have square root of x root x equals to 5 root 5. From here, we can take the square on both sides and we have square root of x root x, which is equal to 5 root 5. When we take the square on both sides, we square this side and also we square this side. So the square on this side, the square will cancel the square root and there we have x root x left here. Whereby this square we have fed this two number. We have 5 square multiplied by root 5 square. And then we can also write this as x root x. We now give us 5 square we have 25 and the root 5 square root. So I cancel root and we have times 5 here then we can write 25 in base 5 and we have x root x to be equal to 20, 25 can be written as 5 square so we have 5 square times 5 raised to the power 1 and from the law of indices same base multiply we can add the power together and we have x root x equals to 5 raised to the power 3 and from here Let's take the square on both sides again. So we square this side and also we square this side. And here, this square will affect these two numbers and this will be x square multiplied by root x square. And this will give us 5 raised to the power 3 then square. And also here, the square we can the square root. We have x square times x now. And this is x raised to the power 1 equals to 5. Let's interchange this power. That's 5 square raised to the power 3. From the law of indices, then this base also multiply we which are the same base. We had the power together. So this gives us x raised to the power 3 equals to here we have we can write this as 25 now. 5 square is 25 raised to the power 3. Then we have power of 3 on both sides. When we take the cube root on both sides now, cube root on both sides. So cube we cancel cube root and we have x here, same thing here. Cube cancel cube root. We have x square equals to 25. x equals to 25 rather. And uh, we can check from what we are given. So to check now, we are given root square root of x root x to be equals to 5 root 5 and we got x to be 25 so we square root of 25 root 25 be equals to 5 root 5 then from here we have square root of we can find square root of 25 here to be 5 that's 25 times 5 is this given us 5 root 5 then we see from here that we can break this down into two and this will be root 25 times root 5 with this be equals to 5 root 5 then root 25 is 5 and then times root 5 which is 5 root 5 which is equals to 5 root 5 so the left hand side equals to the right hand side therefore x equals to 25 is the correct solution to this problem thank you Subscribe to my channel and also on the notification bell. See you in the next class and bye for now.